So what do you guys think it takes to become a bullet time pro? I'll tell you one thing, I spent a lot of time in the lab and for me, it took a lot of practice. But that practice helped me go from this to this. Activating bullet time at will, activating bullet time anytime. We're gonna walk you through this step by step, so lock in, by the end of this video, you will be activating bullet time anytime you want. First thing you're gonna need is a wing to fuse to your shield. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. You guys see I have a couple wings already attached, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna select this Hylian shield here. And it's really good to do this on a Hylian shield. Although you can cancel out of the shield jump so you don't waste durability on the shield. I'll explain that as we go along. We're just gonna fuse this to our shield. Firstly, if you haven't already, you wanna get familiar with the shield surf animation. The reason we fuse the wing to our shield is because we get a higher shield surf animation. And this gives us more time to perform bullet time. To perform the shield surf, you press ZL, X, then A. Now I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's an additional option. After pressing ZL, X, then A, you have the option to press B so you can cancel out of the shield surf animation before going into bullet time. And that'll save you some shield durability. Although it's not necessary, it is useful in regards to saving your shields. Now that you've locked in the shield surf animation, we can now talk about the next step in adding bullet time. After pressing ZL, X, then A, you can choose whether to add the cancel animation by pressing B or you can just let the animation continue to play out and press ZR to pull out your bow and go into bullet time. Now there's quite a few ways to instantly activate your bullet time but in my humble opinion this is by far the easiest. Seems to be the most convenient way to instantly go into bullet time. Now let's talk about your timing on when to activate bullet time after a shield surf animation because there is a slight delay on when you should press ZR. You see you have to let the flip animation play out and after he completes the somersault, that's when you press DR. I just wanted to add that there's some additional value in fusing a wing to your shield. We learned so far that it does allow you to jump higher and it lets you go into bullet time. But there's an additional benefit in that the wing adds durability and also blocks elemental damage. So if you're going up against a fire enemy, you don't have to worry about having a wooden shield. Or if you're going against an enemy that has electric damage, you don't need to worry about having a metal shield. I thought that was an important thing to know as a lot of people like to fuse items to their shield that have damage effects whenever you're blocking. Like fusing a ruby to your shield will give an explosive effect when someone makes contact with your shield. Fusing a sapphire will give you like freeze effects whenever somebody makes contact with your shield. And I personally really like having those effects on my shield. But going into bullet time instantly and also having the ability to jump higher, in my opinion, just gives fusing the wing to your shield a great addition to your arsenal. If you guys have other thoughts or ideas on how to go into bullet time, please share your thoughts in the comment section. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing to All City 2 for a bunch more of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all. Yeah?